Welcome to Tasteful Tech. In this video, we're going to be customizing dashboards in Home Assistant. This is my dashboard right here. As you can see, it's quite simple, nothing really special about it. In fact, it's just a basic default one in Home Assistant. As you can see, it's the overview one. I want to create a separate one for a different room in my house. In order to do this, we're just going to navigate the settings. And then scroll down until you see dashboards. I want to create a new dashboard for my office. As you can see, office already exists. Before we do that, I'm just going to click on office and then simply delete. Okay, great. Now I can create a new dashboard. So I'm just going to go to add dashboard, give it a name, office, and you can choose an icon if you wish. Why not? Let's have a look. We may as well give it a computer icon. And of course, if you really want it to, you can edit the URL. Of course, these are pretty self-explanatory. However, I'm just going to leave these at default. And there we go. It should show up on the left hand side and we're going to click on office. So for some reason, Home Assistant has just dumped everything. Now I suppose it can be useful, but in this context, it's a bit annoying since we don't need everything in this room. In order to customize this dashboard, we're going to navigate to the top right and select these three little dots and then edit dashboard. And what's really nice about this is we can start with an empty dashboard, which is exactly what I want to do. And then take control. What Home Assistant likes to do is use this terminology called cards. That's pretty much what you've just seen before in terms of the different elements you can control. In order to add a card, we're just going to select, well, the add card button. Simple as that. And let's just say we want to add a light. And let's choose a light that we want to add. So I'm just going to select office wall light. What you can do is you can give it a name office wall light and if you really wish to you can change the icon but I'm just going to leave it as a default one you can select a theme if you have one installed but I'm just going to leave it as no theme for now and you can change the type of action that the button does in this case we're just going to leave it as toggle again this is all pretty self-explanatory so go with the options that's best for your needs once done, we're just going to select save. And just as simple as that, we have our first card. Again, to add more, we're just going to select add card. And we can essentially scroll down and choose the different types of cards that are available. Now, let's just say you didn't want just a toggle button, because that's relatively basic. And instead, you have some fancy RGB lights that you want to control. No problem, we're just going to add card and then select the this option here put in the relevant information and then save so what if we want to display some information again we're just going to add card and let's just select an entity again choose the relevant entities that you wish to choose Let's just say I'm interested in the temperature of the Raspberry Pi. Give it a name. You can give it an attribute if you really wish to. But I'm just going to leave everything on default and save it. Let's just say I've finished adding everything I wanted to my dashboard. Once finished, we're just going to select done. And that's it, it's completely saved. And what's really nice about the dashboard is it's really intuitive to use. You can easily access this dashboard on a desktop or even mobile applications, including if you have one of those wall mountable tablets. Just to prove everything works, I'm just going to turn off a couple of these lights. And as you can see, the lights have turned off. Okay, so that's all very well and great. But what if I wanted to change the order of these cards? So let's just go back onto edit. 
and you may notice we have these arrows. In order to change the order, we just simply select and toggle through the relevant order that we want. Now I must say that this is a little bit clunky and I would personally prefer it if Home Assistant had the option to click and drag, but this will have to do for now. Once you're happy with the order of your cards, simply select done. There we go, it's as simple as that. Now what if you accidentally added the wrong card and you want to delete this? Let's just go to edit dashboard. Select the relevant card you wish to delete and then delete card. And that's it, that's pretty much the basics of customizing your dashboard on Home Assistant. Now you can get a bit more in depth into this by playing around with different themes that you can get from hacks and maybe other sources. But in terms of customizing your dashboard, this is a great way to get started. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this informative and let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite Home Assistant feature and if there's any other topics you'd like me to cover. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.